ever pondered the vastness of the universe and the minuscule place we occupy in it? This is a question that has beguiled great minds for centuries. The universe, an expansive tapestry of celestial bodies, is so colossal, it's beyond human comprehension. Its enormity is such that even light, traveling at a staggering 186,000 miles per second, would take over 93 billion years to traverse it. This mammoth cosmos is home to an estimated 2 trillion galaxies, each housing billions of stars. Amid all these stars orbit countless planets, many potentially harboring conditions conducive to life. This brings us to the intriguing conjecture of extraterrestrial existence. With such limitless possibilities, it's almost inconceivable to think that we, on our tiny blue dot, are the sole bearers of life. So, as we delve into the mysteries of the cosmos, we are left with a thought-provoking question. In such a boundless cosmos, could we truly be alone? Could we? The Fermi Paradox The Fermi Paradox questions why in such a vast universe we haven't found signs of extraterrestrial life. This paradox, named after physicist Enrico Fermi, is a conundrum that has puzzled scientists for years. Why haven't we picked up signals or evidence of other civilizations? The implications of the Fermi Paradox are profound. It suggests that either we're truly alone in the cosmos, or perhaps we're looking in the wrong way or at the wrong time. Or maybe life is common, but intelligent life is incredibly rare or short-lived. This is where the dark forest theory enters the fray. It proposes a chilling reason for cosmic silence. Every civilization is hiding. In the dark forest of the universe, survival might mean staying quiet, not broadcasting one's existence to unknown entities. But what if the silence of the cosmos is not a sign of emptiness, but a strategic choice? Introduction to the Dark Forest Theory Enter the Dark Forest Theory, a chilling answer to the Fermi Paradox. The Dark Forest Theory, a concept that might send shivers down your spine, is a hypothesis that emerged from the realm of science fiction. It was first introduced by Liu Qixin, a renowned Chinese science fiction writer, in his award-winning trilogy, The Three-Body Problem. The theory is named after its metaphorical representation of the universe as a dark forest. Just as a wanderer in a dark forest would be wary of revealing their position for fear of unknown predators, civilizations in the universe might also be fearful of exposing their existence. The basic premise of the dark forest theory is a game-theoretic one, based on two axioms. The first axiom is that survival is the primary need of civilization. This isn't a far-fetched idea, as survival is at the core of every living entity, be it an organism or a civilization. The second axiom is that civilization continuously grows and expands, but the total matter in the universe remains constant. Now imagine you're in a dark forest, surrounded by an eerie silence. You're aware of the potential dangers lurking in the shadows, but you have no idea what they are, how many they are, or where they are. You hold your breath, you remain silent, trying not to reveal your position. Because if you do, you risk becoming a target. This is exactly how civilizations in the universe might behave according to the Dark Forest theory. They might be out there, existing, expanding, but remaining silent, hiding their presence from the rest of the universe. The theory suggests that the universe is not a friendly place, but a dark forest filled with potential threats. Civilizations, like hunters in a forest, might be opting for silence as a survival strategy, fearing detection by technologically superior civilizations. In the dark forest, every civilization is a silent hunter, hiding from potential predators. The Berserk Hypothesis In the silent, dark forest of the universe, there exists a terrifying possibility the Berserkers. This chilling concept, the Berserk Hypothesis, stems from the mind of science fiction writer 
Fred Saberhagen. Saberhagen's berserkers are self-replicating autonomous machines with a single dreadful purpose to obliterate all life, reducing vibrant, bustling civilizations to cold, lifeless ruins. Just as a bear might go berserk, rampaging through a forest, these cosmic berserkers are envisioned to rampage through the universe, destroying life wherever they find it. This idea, though sprung from the realm of fiction, raises a spine-tingling question when applied to the dark forest theory. Could such entities exist in our universe? The dark forest theory, as we've already explored, posits that civilizations in the universe are like hunters in a dark forest, staying silent to avoid revealing their location to potential predators. Now, introduce the berserkers into this equation. Imagine a universe not just filled with silent, hidden civilizations, but also with these relentless, life-destroying machines. The berserk hypothesis suggests that these machines could be the reason for the great silence, the lack of detectable signs of extraterrestrial civilizations. Perhaps civilizations have been silenced, not by their own choice, but by the merciless onslaught of the berserkers. These cosmic predators would not need to harbor any ill will or malice towards life. They could simply be following their programming, a twisted version of the von Neumann probe concept, where self-replicating machines are used for exploration and colonization. Except in this dark scenario, the machines are programmed not to explore or colonize, but to exterminate. The berserk hypothesis, while speculative and terrifying, provides yet another potential answer to the Fermi paradox. It paints a picture of a universe that is not just silent and dark, but potentially deadly. Berserkers, the cosmic predators, could be lurking in the dark, waiting for their prey to reveal themselves. Implications of the Dark Forest Berserk Hypothesis What does the Dark Forest Berserk Hypothesis imply for us and our search for extraterrestrial life? That's the question we're examining now. Firstly, it implies a dangerous naivety in our active search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or CT. If we accept the Dark Forest Berserk Hypothesis, then any civilization that becomes aware of us could perceive us as a potential threat. In the dark forest of the universe, it's kill or be killed, remember? So, by actively sending out signals, we could be painting a giant bullseye on our planet for any advanced civilizations that might be out there. This brings us to the second implication, the need for stealth in space exploration. If we want to survive in this hypothetical dark forest, we must be like the most cunning animals, quiet, stealthy, and ever watchful. This means we might need to rethink our approach to space exploration and communication. Instead of broadcasting our presence to the universe, we might need to focus on quietly observing and learning. Thirdly, the dark forest berserk hypothesis implies that we might be alone. Not because we're unique, but because other civilizations are hiding, just like we should be. This could explain the Fermi paradox, the apparent contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the lack of contact with such civilizations. Finally, the hypothesis suggests that our survival may depend on our ability to remain undetected. We might need to become masters of camouflage hiding our electromagnetic emissions and masking our presence in the universe. In conclusion, the Dark Forest Berserk Hypothesis presents a chilling picture of the universe. It suggests a universe not filled with friendly alien civilizations waiting to welcome us into the galactic community, but a dark and dangerous forest where silence and stealth are keys to survival. So the next time you look up at the night sky, and wonder about the silence of the universe, remember this. In the grand scale of the universe, silence may not be golden, but it could be survival. The Dark Forest Berserk hypothesis is a theory, a speculation. Yet, 
It provides a unique perspective on our existence in the universe. It paints a picture of a cosmos that is not just vast and ancient, but teeming with life, albeit life that hides in fear of discovery. It suggests that our universe is a dark forest where every civilization, like a hunter, is quiet, careful not to reveal its location, lest it attract the attention of a predator. This hypothesis is an attempt to explain the Fermi paradox, the seeming contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the lack of contact or evidence for such civilizations. It proposes that the silence of the universe is not due to the absence of life, but because advanced civilizations are intentionally concealing their presence. We delved into the berserk hypothesis, the idea that a civilization could decide to consume all resources in its path, growing exponentially and leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. A civilization driven by such an insatiable hunger could indeed pose a threat to other life forms in the universe. The implications of the Dark Forest Berserk hypothesis are profound. It forces us to question our place in the universe, our approach to exploration and discovery, and the potential consequences of revealing our existence to the cosmos. It compels us to consider the balance between our desire for growth and the need for conservation, between curiosity and caution. But remember, these are theories, speculations, thought experiments. They are not absolute truths. They are invitations to ponder, to question, to wonder. In the infinite expanses of the cosmos, we may be but a whisper. But remember, every whisper holds the potential to echo across the universe.